Hi, this is H of the Stage, vocal coach, musician, singer, songwriter, and thank you for joining me to yet another reaction video. Now, today I'm going to react to Simon Korolski, and it's been a while since I've reacted to this guy. He does some amazing epic covers of, uh, let's say, worship songs mostly. And since we're in this Christmas period, I thought it would be fitting for me to react to O Come Emmanuel. Now, Simon says... <laughs> Simon says. Yeah, but Simon says that he doesn't do too many songs in English because they don't really move him that much. But he said for this song that this is a special song, so I have a feeling that he's really going to deliver with this one. And it also says epic version, and I kind of believe when he says that. So let's go check it out together. Okay, definitely has that epic sounding quality. It's almost like a cinematic song. I can hear this in a movie. And Simon also really goes all in when it comes to video production. He's always having these um, beautiful sceneries, beautiful nature. You know, he's really trying to paint this a good picture because uh, to me, when I'm listening to a song and when it has such beautiful visuals, it just makes the song more powerful. Sometimes I really love the song and the video is so stupid. <laughs> it doesn't have anything to do with the song and it just ruins a bit of song for me. So I'm either, either going to listen to only to the song or I'm going to watch the complete picture and Simon always delivers in both. Now, when it comes to his singing, he's, I would say, a baritone, you know. He has these deep quality notes and at the same time, he's a very straight baritone. He doesn't do too much vibrato, and at least in this song. It's really, really straight, really pitch perfect. And when these backing vocals uh, come in, like this choir, it really blends perfectly with all of the orchestra sounds. And at the beginning, you had that silky clean beautifully played violin. And you know, I've really heard a lot of violin players in my life, good and bad, and whoever played this really knows how to play. It's beautiful, it's really perfectly, dynamically played. Just congrats. Let's continue listening. So far, I'm really enjoying this one. I love this. I love this. Uh, the thing that I really love is that he changes a couple of chords that I'm used to in hearing this song originally. Like, and some of those chord changes really make it more uplifting. So instead of going to the tonic chord that, you know, I would expect in a couple of these uh, phrases, he goes to, I believe, the sixth chord. And that kind of gives it this uplifting feeling, you know, kind of anticipation. And at the same time, very triumphant you know 
he's a master. I think that he arranges everything when it comes to these uh, covers, and he always does a great job. Whew. And the choir responding to his voice is so wonderful. I just love these kind of songs. You know, this is something that a cover should be about. He's really making it his own. He's really doing this epic version. And man, it's really epic. You know, it does live up to the name. <laughs> Before I forget, I just want to compliment the mixing, the producing here as well. All of these sub sounds, like these deep um, bass notes uh, in the drums, so like um, almost timpani kind of sounds and stuff like that, really cinematic, really fill up the space. If you would leave them out, everything would sound a bit more flat. It would sound a bit like it's hanging up in the air, but when you have these drums like... Ooh, it really fills up the space. Ah, wonderful. Oh, come, oh, king of nations, God, in one the hearts of all mankind, bid all our sad division cease, and be Oh my God, this last part was so perfect. I think there was a key change happening here. And uh, there's this person, somebody singing an octave deeper than Simon. And man, when you're listening with headphones, it just, oh, you, you have to listen with headphones. This, I'm going to re-listen to this part. So there's an octave deeper than his main voice singing the same line. And there's the choir singing something above. I'm not sure if it's uh, an octave all, all the time. I think it's changing. But all in all, a perfect way to end the song. So somebody singing, O come, O come, the nations fight. Somebody singing that deep note. I'm not sure of the lyrics, so I'm just singing like that. But somebody singing that. Da, 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 da. Oh, and that makes Simon's voice even more kind of like, what's the word? Ticker, you know, it's, it's just more in your face. Ah. Oh. Those two voices complement each other perfectly. And the female choir. Perfect song, perfect cover, and uh, I love when something is this well crafted. You know, you can really hear that they put a lot of attention into every single detail. The orchestra sounds so clear, so beautiful. The choir, the you know, every single string instrument, but the timpani, those deep, really rich sub. I, I don't know. You can almost hear them if you have like. If you either have some great headphones or have uh, speakers that can produce those subwoofer sounds, oh my God. If you were to hear this in a cinema, 
you know, because they have those big speakers. This would be, this would hit you like you would hear, you would feel it here. You wouldn't even hear it that much. I mean, you would, but you would feel it here like the trembling. Oh my God. Perfectly mixed. Simon's voice here, as I said, he's kind of singing basically very straight here. I'm not using too much vibrato. He's not uh, over exaggerating anything. I've heard some of his other songs where he's, he's trying to reach for higher notes and stuff like that. This is a bit in his more, let's say, natural range. And I think that works beautifully because this song is more in a meditative mood. You know, it's not a song where it's like, hey, look at me, look at look at what I can do with my voice. It's not a song like that. And I think that Simon knows exactly when to do what with a song. He's a great singer, great artist, and I really love what he's doing on his channel. And I really do hope uh, that he doesn't mind me reacting to him. If you enjoyed this video, like it, share it around, subscribe, leave comments, let me know what else I should react to, and see you in the next video.